Good morning, dear students. How are you today? Today, our lesson is about verb have and has got. Look at the first picture. Have you got a cat? Yes, I have got a cat. Picture two. Have you got a rabbit? Yes, I have got a rabbit. Picture three. Have you got a turtle? Sure, I have got a turtle. I have in the short form of I have got. Picture four. Have you got a horse? Yes. I have got a horse. Super. Then, look at that picture. This boy is Mike. Has Mike got a cat? Yes, sure. Mike has got a cat. Look at the next picture. This girl is Katty. Has Katty got a rabbit? Yes, Katty has got a rabbit. Remember, he has got, will be, he's got. She has got, will be, she's got. You can put he instead of Mike and she instead of Kathy. So, have got and has got our sisters. Each sister has some friends. Who are the friends of have got? I have got a book. Good job. You have got a book. We have got a book. They have got a book. So, have got has four friends. Who are the friends of have got? Let's say them together. I have got, you have got, we have got, they have got. Great job. Has got has three friends. Who are the friends of has got? Let's say them together. He has got a book. She has got a book. It has got a book. So, who are the friends of has got? Let's say them one more time. He has got. She has got. It has got. Excellent. Let's check some ex examples. The first example, the first example, look at the picture. They have got toys. Picture two, he has got or have got, excellent, he has got a toy car. Example three, she has got or have got? No, she has got a doll. Great job. Picture four, the elephant. The elephant has got or have got? It's only one elephant. So, the elephant has got two big ears. Super. 
Picture five, the kids have got or has got the kids because you are many, the kids have got pretty kites. Super. The last picture, the boy has got or have got the boy has got a ball. Super. Remember, these are the short form. I've got, you've got, he's got, she's got, it's got, we've got, you've got, they've got. So, these are the short forms. For example, I have got. The short form of I have got is I have got. The short form of you have got is you have got. Okay, let's continue. Let's answer uh, these questions. He has got a brown dog or he have got a brown dog. Remember who is the friend of he, he has got. Super, he has got a brown dog. Next, they has got sandwiches or they have got sandwiches. They have got sandwiches. Excellent, super. She, the third picture, she has got a big brother or she have got a big brother. She has got a big brother. Excellent. Next. <coughs> Who's the friend of I? I said, I have got. This is the affirmative form. I have got. The short form is I have got. You have got. You've got. He has got. He's got. She has got. She's got. It has got. It's got. We have got. We've got. You have got. You've got. They have got. They've got. Negative. What does it mean? What does negative mean? Negative means to add not after have or has. I have not got. So the short form of I have not got, I haven't got. You have not got, you haven't got. He has not got, he hasn't got. She has not got, she hasn't got. It has not got, it hasn't got. We have not got, we haven't got. You have not got, you haven't got. They have not got, they haven't got. And don't forget, negative means to add not after has or have. Interrogative. What does it mean? Interrogative means questions. Have I got? Have you got? Has he got? Has she got? Has it got? Have we got? Have you got? Have they got? Next. Look at that picture. How do you form a question? He has got a skateboard. Again, he has got a skateboard. I want to form a question. How do you form a question? Start with the have. Excellent. What comes after have? You. Super. 
What comes after you got? What do you put at the end? Question mark. So what to the question? Have you got a roller board? What to the answer of this question? No, I haven't. Great job. Look at the next picture. Have I got a sister? How do you form this question? Using has or have got. Start with have at the beginning. What comes after have? A subject. Excellent. Have I. What comes after I? Got. What do you put at the end of the sentence? Question mark. So the question will be, have I got a sister? What's the answer? We have two answers. You can answer with yes or no. Have I got a sister? Yes, you have. And don't forget to change I into you. Okay? The next picture, how do you form a question using has or have got? Start with have at the beginning. What comes after have? A subject. Good job. What comes after they or a subject? Got. What do you put at the end of the sentence? Question mark. What are the question? Have they got a guitar? What are the answer of this question? Question? No, they haven't. Great job. Questions? Let's read them together. The questions and the short answers. Have I got? Yes, I have. Or no, I haven't. This is the short answer. Have you got? Yes, you have. Or no, you haven't. This is the short answer. Has he got? Yes, he has. Or no, he hasn't. Has she got? Yes, she has. Or no, she hasn't. Super. Has it got? Yes, it has or no, it hasn't. Great. Have we got? Yes, we have or no, we haven't. Have you got? Yes, you have or no, you haven't. Have they got? Yes, they have or no, they haven't. Exercise, write yes or no. Look at that picture. Can you describe him? Had the boy got a pencil? No, he hasn't. Excellent. Had the boy got a red book? Yes, he has. Super. Has the boy got a blue backpack? Yes, he has. Has the boy got jeans? No, he hasn't. The last question. Has the boy got brown shoes? Yes, he has. Thank you for watching and good luck.